Hello everyone. Today we will continue to look at the Red Hat System Administrator Certification Question Bank. Next, we have question 11. Uh, still no connection, still no connection. The recent questions we've been looking at actually have no relation to each other. So you need to be even more thorough in your checks. Because if the questions are related, you can use the relationships between the commands, right? You can see the connections and identify the problems. However, for questions that have no relation, even though making a mistake on one won't affect others, it's still best not to make mistakes. Just make sure to check each question thoroughly. Who? All right. That's our approach. The main points to pay attention to. Next, let's look at question 11, which involves searching for a string. In this type of question, you are usually given a file, and then you are also given a keyword. Then you are asked to extract all occurrences of this keyword from the file. Ah, extract these occurrences. OK, place them in a file. Moreover, there should be no empty lines. And all lines must be exact copies of the original lines. Ah, this is one of our basic requirements. So, of course, this question does seem to have quite a long list of requirements, right? But it's actually a matter of one command. For this question, you actually only need one command. But what you need to pay attention to here is that quote, when you are filtering, you need to be aware of the situation of the information being filtered regarding the filtering command here. Earlier, for searching, we used the find command. For filtering, we use the grape command here. Uh, with the group command here, we use our group to filter out part of the content from the file. Specifically here, the question provides us with a string, right? A simple string, and then we need to extract a string from this file which is our basic requirement. So how do we extract it? It's like this. First, the path is quite long. Make sure not to type it incorrectly. We need to filter this string. The file path is long, so we write it down here. But actually, no matter how long it is, it's OK. We can complete it, right? We can use the autocomplete command. Here, let's take just a moment to look at the autocomplete part. Hmm. Under this directory, let's take a look. See which one is the directory? Ah, this is a directory. Ah, like this, you can actually see what can be filtered out. And that's fine. Ah, of course, regarding the directory required by the task, it's not actually required by the task. This file is not in our environment, but you can freely switch to another file. That's fine. As long as you can see the effect, it's OK. You can filter out this information using our command, and then we import this information into a file. This is the redirection issue we just talked about. Ah, when searching for files, make sure not to redo the box. For searching files, we copy the file to a corresponding directory here. After searching for the string, we redirect the content through redirection into the file. Ah, that's the effect. After redirection, we can take a look at the content inside the file. Hey, if you can see this content, then there's no problem. This is one of our methods for searching strings. And here you must pay attention. Searching for strings? You need to be careful. First, you need to ensure that the string is correct. Ah, of course, the questions are generally given in a simpler way, usually quite simple, and generally won't be written incorrectly. Unedit. However, you must write the file correctly. The file must be written correctly. Whatever the question requires, that's what the file should be, even if the question requires a file and you don't have it in your environment. Should you write it? Yes, write it. Ah, here we just changed the file for everyone, just to show you the effect. In an actual exam, whatever file it requires is what the file should be, even if this file doesn't contain all the characters or strings required by the question. It doesn't matter. 
Just write it as the question requires. Ah, everyone must pay attention to this. Ah, this is about finding strings. The main difference between this and finding files is that with files, it's like searching through the entire directory. The find command is essentially used to search for the files we need within the entire directory. Ah, uh, here it is. Let me add a bit more about these two questions. There might be some variations. First, regarding finding files, in the previous question, it actually used a certain method. Right? It's about finding the file content by searching for the user. Finding the file content is essentially about determining which user the file belongs to, meaning who the owner of the file is, and finding the file through the owner. In addition to this, there is also what is contained in the name. Ah, name. Or time. Or, well, indeed, our type. Type actually includes files, directories, and so on. Generally, it won't be particularly complex. Knowing the common types is sufficient. For names, it's name, and for types, it's type. Ah, uh, there might be some changes with find here. Ah, uh, it might, well, change a requirement for you to search, but the probability of it changing is basically non-existent. It's definitely something that will be tested, but as for what specific content it might change to, like what to search for, that's not certain. Currently, it's mainly used for searching, and it's more often used to search for users. Ah, mainly it's about searching through users. As for other things, you also need to understand the other uses. How should I put it? If you have no foundational knowledge when taking this certification, it's actually not recommended. It's risky. If you don't have a certain understanding or familiarity with these commands, but, yep, once an error occurs, uh, it becomes difficult to handle. I don't even need to mention the issue of new questions, even if all the questions are the same. Ah, even if all the questions are the same, if you accidentally type something wrong and an error occurs, you might not even be able to troubleshoot it. That's if you're not very familiar with this area. So here, everyone should mainly pay attention and try to look at and understand some of the other common options of the commands tested in this question. This way, it will be beneficial for the future. Firstly, the more commands you type, the better you'll become at troubleshooting, right? Secondly, if you encounter different options and need to use different options, make sure to switch them promptly. Ah, this is a point for everyone to pay attention to. As for this question, we are filtering the content of a file, right? We just directly add a character to the command. This is the normal way to write it. This is the normal way to write it. If there are variables involved here, what might it change into? It might change into something like, normally, we are filtering, filtering this content. Right, just filtering these one or two letters. It could also possibly result in what? Result in this kind of situation. For example, like this. Or like this. Ah, um, it starts with this letter or ends with this letter. Ah, this symbol means. With all this. The n. Mm. The one that starts with this character ends with this character. These two types of symbols might also appear. Normally, we just write one or two letters directly, right? Normally, it's just writing two letters directly. If there's a change, it might be, well, changing the content inside this letter. Ah, or it's just... If there's a change, it might change here. This, uh, a way of searching. A method of searching. This is how we search for strings including the way we previously searched for files. These two commands are actually in, uh, in a normal environment. During some routine maintenance work, these are two very commonly used commands. Because when it comes to finding files, don't say that you remember where you put every file. That's not very likely, because as long as you work for a long time, um, your files will keep increasing. It's quite normal not to find them. So the find command, along with our group command, are actually very helpful for locating files. Besides the exam, you can also learn more about other uses of these two commands in these questions, which will also be helpful for your routine work. So this is our 11th question, which is about finding a string. Explanation. If you need the complete question bank, you can leave a comment below and purchase the question bank at the best price. That's it for today, everyone. Goodbye.